Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this result. This result says every convergent sequence has a unique limit in a matrix space. That means if in a matrix space, if you have any convergent sequence, then it converges to a single point. This thing we have to prove. So here I have taken any arbitrary matrix space XD. Okay, so let me draw the diagram simultaneously so we can easily understand the concept. Suppose this is matrix space XD. Let us consider one convergent sequence. Let Xn be a convergent sequence. Okay, and what we have to prove? To prove that Xn has a unique limit. So what we have to prove? It has a unique limit. So it converges to a single point. This thing we have to prove. See, we are going to write its proof in indirect method. Indirect method, that means we will assume exactly opposite what we have to prove. What we have to prove? We have to prove it converges to a single point. We will assume it converges to two distinct points. Okay, we will go further. After writing few logical statements, we will get a big contradiction and then we will say we are getting contradiction because of our wrong assumptions. We will rectify our statement and we will get the required answer right in this is our method so here we have to prove it has a unique limit so i am assuming let if possible it has two distinct limits okay so let me write let if possible xn has two distinct limits so let me show in the diagram so suppose we have a sequence like this x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 x7 x8 and so on so obviously if the sequence is convergent it will converge to a single point but here we are assuming it converges to two distinct points suppose this is x and this is y so this in this way we are assuming which is obviously wrong but see, we, we, should, we should get some contradiction. Uh, so here we are assuming it converges to two distinct points. I'm calling them as X and Y. Say Xn converges to X and same sequence Xn converges to Y. But these points X and Y are distinct. These are two different points. But see, if we have two distinct points, obviously the, there will be some non-zero distance between them getting so x and y are distinct so that's why you can easily see there is some distance i am calling it as epsilon whatever whatever the distance between x and y so that is my epsilon so yes so x and y are distinct so there will there will be some positive distance between them getting and i am calling it as epsilon so epsilon is equal to d of x y which is greater than zero so we know that uh, the definition of convergent sequence in a definition of convergent sequence epsilon is involved so same epsilon we can use there okay so let us use the given information now what we have we have these two things xn converges to x and xn converges to y so let us use those things one by one we have let me write we have what is the first thing we have xn converges to x so i can use the definition of convergent sequence let me write here so definition of convergent sequence says therefore for given epsilon greater than zero but see epsilon we have already taken so let me write for above epsilon greater than zero the definition says there exists some natural number n belongs to that capital n such that such that d of x n x less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital N. Simply, I wrote the definition of convergent sequence for given epsilon. So epsilon already we have. So that's why I call it as for above epsilon. There exists a natural number n such that d of x n x less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital N. Epsilon denotes a very small positive real number. So just for adjustment, you can take epsilon there, epsilon by two, epsilon by three, whatever you want. So here, just for adjustment, I'm writing here epsilon by two. This is my statement number one. So we have this another information, xn converges to y. So let us write the same thing 
for this information also. So we have what is the second information xn converges to y. So let us write in the same way for therefore again we would epsilon I will take the same epsilon for above epsilon greater than 0 there exist n belongs to set of natural numbers. See n already we have taken right. So let us call it as n1 and this is n2 such that such that see what will I get d of x n y less than epsilon by 2 for all n greater than or equal to n2 this is statement number 2. See now two important information we have now but see the problem is that the first information is useful for all n greater than or equal to n1. The second information is useful for all n greater than or equal to n2. We have to use both information simultaneously. So let us see what we can do. For example, suppose this is true for, suppose my n1 is 11. This information is true for all n greater than or equal to 11. That means it is useful for 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and so on. The second information is useful for n greater than or equal to n2 getting so that means the first information is uh, you can use for 11 12 13 14 and, and so on suppose my n2 is 15 so that means this is true for 15 16 17 18 and so on getting so here 13 14 15 16 all obviously will be there so we have uh, we have to write this is true for common part that means here you can easily see the 15 16 are here and 15 16 are also here so if you take maximum of both of them that means maximum of 11 and 15 what is it obviously it is 50 so that's why both information will be true for n greater than or equal to that 15 that means maximum of them so here also i will do the same i will take maximum of n1 and n2 getting let me write let n is equal to maximum of n1 and n2 then 1 and 2 will be true for this n then 1 and 2 will be true for n greater than or equal to capital n okay so in this way uh, we have written there is no more space to write so make a screenshot of it first then i will go further so let us go further see now what will i do i will consider consider epsilon what is our epsilon epsilon we have defined it is d of x y okay do you remember triangle inequality it is a fourth property of a matrix space so D is a matrix, so obviously it satisfies that triangle inequality. But see for triangle inequality, three points are required A, B, C. So here uh, X and Y are my two points and the third point I will take Xn. So by triangle inequality, I can write this is less than or equal to D of X, Xn. We introduce one point here. So I am introducing Xn plus D of Xn, Y by triangle inequality right symmetry property of a matrix says you can easily interchange x and y that means d of a b is same as d of b a so that's why this is equal to d of x n x plus d of x n y i'm keeping this term as it is see this inequality number one says this is less than epsilon by two so i should mention this is less than epsilon by two D of y, x and y, x and y, this is less than epsilon by 2, I am using 2. So, I am getting this is epsilon by 2. Obviously, this is true for all n greater than or equal to capital N. Just now, we have written here, this, uh, see, both inequalities will work for this n. So, that's why I could write. Let me mention from 1 and 2. So, epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2, half epsilon plus half epsilon, you will get full epsilon. So, that's why this is equal to epsilon. See, we started with what? We started with epsilon. Here, we got inequality and finally, we are getting epsilon again. So, epsilon less than epsilon, is it possible? Not possible. We are getting a big contradiction. 
why we are getting contradiction because our assumption is wrong okay so we are getting a uh, wrong thing so let me mention so this is not possible this is not possible okay so uh, let me uh, make some space here make a screenshot of it first so we get a contradiction so therefore we can write we get a contradiction because of our wrong assumption that means whatever we have assumed that is wrong what we had assumed it converges to two distinct points that is wrong so that's why it converges to a single point so therefore every convergent sequence has a unique limit okay so here we concluded it so yes proof is over make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you